All right, so today I'm gonna do another uh, maybe coming up project video. This is, uh, well, I guess you could say it's my 1967 Chevy C50. Now, this truck, it does run, but it got a lot of issues. Uh, it doesn't have any brakes, except for the emergency brake. Moved around. The engine heats up really fast because um, the freeze plug in the back of the motor behind the clutch is uh, blown out. That It just leaks all the antifreeze out, so you can't really run it that long. There's a oil pressure line that I think I have a hole in it because every time you run it, I had it running earlier this summer. Look under here. It's all wet under there. Uh, from that line. Uh, it does have a big block Chevrolet. And get that open. That's a big block Chevy. And it, that's what I think it is. I'm not a real big Chevy guy. So, it's a big block Chevy. Got the air compressor up there. This is um, air over hydraulic brakes. And if anybody know about Chevy C, the Chevy series, uh, you can't find parts for them. That's basically why this truck isn't driving right now. It got parked because the brake parts were too hard to find and too expensive. So this truck got sat and a different truck was bought. Now, when it runs, it runs pretty decent, depending on what it is. It uh, is rusted out really, really bad because it's driven in salt and whatnot but just have a tank sitting on right now but yeah frame really don't have much paint on it at all it's pretty rusted up but split rim wheels it's not bad it's it's a decent truck the interior isn't terrible the seat on that side's ripped up from getting in and out but this is the original seat and it, basically, most of the stuff in the interior is original. Now, in here, it got a five-speed transmission. Sorry, right, I have blocks at the wheel. Five-speed transmission with a two-speed rear end in it. So, basically, your first gear is your creeper gear. So, it goes re reverse, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now, first is really, really slow, and you can see... When you push over, it's spring-loaded. You're reversing first, so you don't accidentally go over there. So basically, you, most of the time, you start in second, third, fourth. Yep, fourth, fifth. And then there's a two-speed, so this would originally be down to do your two, one through four, five. And you would, once you're in fifth gear, you'd pull this out, go back, and there you got sixth. I'd be actually seventh in second gear, eighth, ninth, and tenth. But most of the time, we just had the two speed out on trucks that we have with the two speed because it goes a lot faster and all the trucks got the power. Basically, if you're going uphill, you just push it in and like you have it in gear out, in, there you go, up the hill. So most of the time, we have it out. The only thing that you can drive this truck with is with the emergency brake. The brakes do not work at all. Um, the last time we had this running over the summer, uh, the car was a little sticky. But the thing, if after cleaning the points a little bit, it fired right up and it idled. I let go of the choke and the gas and it just idled and it just purred along. And the gas in the tank is, I swear, 30 years old or more. So it, it runs decent okay but it, it need work um dash pad is pretty bad the windshield is really bad but other than that this cab is pretty nice steering wheel it's not bad the dash is like the gauge cluster is really nice like that's all clean um a ford radio was put in um i guess that one went out i really don't know a lot about this truck this was before my time that this truck was used, but it was, I guess you could say, given to me, passed down. In the glove box, we have the original manual here, get to the truck. It's a 
Chevrolet truck. Owners and driver's manuals. 1967, important safety tips, pages 2 to 3. Series 40 to 80. So that's what that truck would have looked like new. Got a lot of different stuff it looks like here. Operation controls, instruments, comfort and convenience features, operating instructions, hood and access doors, uh, maintenance and lubrication, specifications and technical data, vehicle identification, and index. So that looks about all you need to own this truck, and it came in the original passions too. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's get it back in this nice cover here. But with this truck, in a second but, well me and my dad had talked about so basically this truck you can't get any brake parts for it not any brakes you can't stop and you couldn't get it licensed or inspected so basically what we had thought about and we don't know if this would even be possible is you take a newer like say like an f4 a ford f550 okay we have a pretty big rear axle and a pretty decent front axle. Now you'd have to do a lot of measuring and see what kind of trucks would fit best for what. But you could just take the rear axle from the 550, put it under this, put the front axle out of the 550 under this. All you have to do is buy a wrecked 550 that still has a good front axle and rear axle. Then you hook it all up and then you'd be having good brakes and everything. You could drive this. But it'd be a lot of work because the body isn't good. Now doing all that work would it be worth it for a truck this rusted out now ask the question and you'd have to pull the engine out to fix that freeze plug with the engine it's 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 war it's war really hard it's it, this truck was worked that's for sure go on this side <clears throat> this fender's just as bad at the same spot in the door but it's pretty rusted out here it only has a single exhaust with a <laughs> looks like a vintage glass pack this truck I used to love as a kid uh, when I was younger and I didn't know as much about trucks. I love trucks. Um, I always had plans of getting this on the road. But as I got older, you know, more realistic thoughts come to my mind. And this truck is pretty far gone. Now, the thing of this is you could get this run and have this as like a shop truck, run around the farm sort of kind of thing. It's possible. It's definitely possible. You know, this is a good old truck. Like, the frame, it's not terrible. You know, springs are a little rusted out with the U-bolts, uh, but it's not bad. You give this frame, if you'd sandblast it down and paint it, it wouldn't look bad. If you put new shocks on the back and maybe new U-bolts, this would be pretty decent. You need to get new wheels because these are split rims, and <laughs> split rims are junk dangerous but yeah the wheels even got paint on yet how about that yeah, these tires are pretty bad <laughs> but yeah we did have this truck running over the summer <clears throat> it ran pretty decent maybe i'll put a video in with this of it running i have a video of it running over the summer but yeah yeah this seat this all it's all cracked up but yeah it's still got all, a lot of the original stuff under the seat, like the flashers that come with it and such, like that. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool truck. I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, I don't know if this would be high on my list to do a project. This would be a lot of work. I have other projects that I could do and get finished in a, <clears throat> a uh, shorter time frame and would be better for me to do and more stuff that I could use than this um, on another note uh, I love trucks and i am been looking for big rigs for a very long time to buy so if any of you out there got a international Transtar cab over 4070A I kind of like the 4070B's more I like the 4070B they were made from 1974 to 1981 if you have one let me know dm me email me comment i don't care let me know if you have one if you got an old semi sitting around let me know i'd love to have anything a detroit diesel cummins 350 13 speed 10 speed i don't care what it's got just let contact me i'll check out the truck send me some pictures or whatever tell me some details i'll check it out because 
I love some projects here on Walk Boys Garage. Um, I've been looking and I've been recently almost bought one, but you know, <laughs> that's how it is. But yeah, this truck, pretty cool that we have here. I just want to show you guys this truck. Uh, so, yep, that's about all. Let me close the hood. <laughs> I had lube these hinges back in the summer, but they're already bad. Already. Um, I wanted to at least move it. I never got a chance over the summer. Then I wanted to move it and um, at least just move it around. Like the oil's like moving a little bit and uh, pressure wash it off because it's growing mold. I hate to see it like this. So I was going to pump the tires up and use emergency brake, move it over there to the front of the garage and pressure wash it. <clears throat> but I just didn't get around to it. Uh, I want to kind of fix that oil pressure line so it doesn't leak any oil out. I'll check the oil. Maybe put a little antifreeze in it, even though it'll just puke out. Drive it over there, drive it back, put it in the same spot, basically. Because, uh, or we want to move somewhere else, whatever. Same thing. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, have a nice day, and I'll see you all later. If the choke goes off.